Hey guys, this is Cadman Cycling, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in Zwift, and we'll be riding in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, this will be the 2015 UCI Worlds course. There's two other routes also available, the Cobbled Climbs and the Fan Flats, but we'll be riding the 10.1 mile loop with 515 feet of elevation gain, the 2015 UCI Worlds course. Let's get started. As we're making our way to the start of the course and passing some of these cyclers who are also just getting started on the right-hand side, I did want to give a little bit of more background on the UCI Worlds course. So this is based on the 2015 UCI World Championships, which were held in Richmond, Virginia. And this race was actually famous because Peter Sagan attacked on the 23rd Street climb. We'll see in the, the end of the video, I'll be going up the 23rd Street climb um, and it actually allowed him to win his first world championship. And now he's one of the greatest cyclists of all time. So the first half of this course is very flat. And then we'll see on the back half, uh, we'll get to two or three short climbs, one of those being the 23rd Street climb um, that I'll, I'll point out when we get there. As we make our way down Monument Avenue in Richmond, Virginia, uh, which is actually one of the famous avenues in the city and has been in the news a lot recently, uh, most of the monuments I think were actually taken down in 2020. Um, but we're still in the, the first half of this course, uh, the flat section, we're coming up here on our first sprint. So I'll start to increase the watts um, and sprint for about point, let's see, 0.14 miles see what my time is. One of the cool things about Zwift, and it popped up, I'm not sure if you saw it after the sprint, but I'm adding it to the screen here, that little thumbs up above my rider. So that's called a ride on. And within Zwift, you're able to interact with the cyclists around you. 
um, and actually give them a thumbs up during the ride. So that picture on the top of the screen is what it looks like, but it's just a cool way to interact with the different riders that are riding alongside you and let them know that they're doing a good job. And that's actually accessible in the Zwift Companion app. Um, so there's two apps. Zwift is the one that you see currently on the screen that I'm riding in, but there's also a Zwift Companion app that you can download and use it to interact while you're riding. So you can use it for power-ups, to give different people ride-ons. Uh, you can also use it to change the direction of your rider. So at any point you can do a U-turn in here. Um, but that's a separate app and I'll talk about that in a future video. Um, but currently just wanted to bring up that ride-on because it popped up above my rider and it's one of the cool, cool things about Zwift. And just like that, here we are on the 23rd Street climb. I mentioned it earlier, so this is where Peter Sagan made his attack to ultimately win the, the championship jersey, but it, it came up quick. And honestly, it's 11% grade right here. Um, it's really short, so it's a, it's a quick effort. I'm trying to put out a few watts and see what time I can get. We're up to 12%, um, but this took a lot out of me, to be honest. Uh, you kind of turn the corner and all of a sudden it's, right on you. So this was an interesting one. I haven't ridden this course before, so wasn't really expecting it. Um, but a fun little climb. It's short enough that it doesn't take a lot out of you, uh, but forces you to kind of put out some watts for almost a minute. So that was a fun one. We're about to see another feature here in Zwift, which is pretty cool. It's actually this guy in front of me in the black and orange jersey. He's about to start an aero tuck. So if you're going a certain speed, I think anything over like 35 or 40 miles per hour, you can actually stop pedaling within Zwift and your rider automatically enters this aero tuck position. So you don't have to put out any watts. You can see I tried as well, but I was a bit late to the party and kind of lose it once the downhill stops. So getting to the end of this ride here, it's really a brutal finish. Like I said, the first half was completely flat, and then the second half is quite a bit of hills. But this last, you can see I have only 0.4 miles left, uh, but it takes another two, two and a half minutes for me to get to the finish line. Just because this is all uphill at the finish, I can see how they set up this course. I bet it's in person a fun one to watch. Um, I'll probably have to go back and watch that Worlds race where Sagan won. I think it'd be interesting to see this in person um, with 8% grade and everything going up to the finish. Makes for some interesting endings. Um, so yeah, I'm struggling my way up the hill, but it's almost over. The suffering ends eventually. And with that, we're making our way to the finish. Uh, thanks for being here. If you liked this video, please give the video a like.
leave a comment, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. But yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, this is Cadman Cycling, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.